twice a year, they climb the highest peak around. And this time, Bill Everton joined them on the Arizona road up Crossman Peak. I kind of like to call them the twice a year climb Crossman Peak, flash the city, and have lunch bunch. Their leader is the notorious have a Sioux City flasher, the term will explain, 70-year-old John Caney. Now don't be fooled by his age, he's fully capable of hiking far younger men straight into the ground. Crossman Peak, for reference, is the highest peak you can see from anywhere in Lake Havasu City, just a touch over 5,000 feet. And the climb is up a road. Well, a sort of a road, it's a steep road. And we've explored just about every wash and ridge there is in any direction out of Lake Havasu City. Exercise, fun, meeting nice people. My advice always on every walk is, at least sometime during the walk, walk with someone you don't know. You get to meet a lot of nice people that way. It's to enjoy the outdoors. John Caney's been leading these hikes for over seven years now. They do this climb twice a year, and just for the record, John has climbed Crossman 17 times. No matter where you are on the hike, it just gets worse. You're just coming to the steep part. The last part of the hike is along this high ridge. I wasn't the first to reach the top, but I did beat my longtime friend, Lake Havasu resident Tom Berry, who had offered to help me carry batteries and stuff up here to the top. Have I pushed friendship to the, to the limit here? <laughs> what friendship? <laughs> From the top, part of the routine is to flash mirrors at the city at high noon. That's an idea of John Caney's, and that's why he's called the Havasu City Flasher. Well, one lone person far below us flashed back. And that's what the twice a year climb crossman flash the city and have lunch bunch folks do twice a year. This is Bill Everton, New Center 10, on the Arizona Road. Wasn't quite prepared for that type of flasher. Well, that brings us right up to date on the news.